Dark Crimes. What's up, everyone? This is Dark Crimes, and I'm your girl, Sincere Ignorance. And of course, I'm with the lovely, the beautiful. All right, listen here. This Negress just introduced me as lovely and beautiful. Yes. I am because fly. Because that is what I am fly. And who you are. I am fly. You're like a, like a, a, a sunflower. Okay. All right. All right, then. All right, then. So, anyway, this is your boy, Brent Solomon. We're going to move forward. <laughs> and this Definitely is your move forward. <laughs> All right, yes. So, look, now, the other side of the situation here is Mr. Big Shot. I'm trying to be better than everybody, everybody that's better than <laughs> everybody. I'm sorry, Mr. Sleepy Time T Flow. Yes. Water bed flow. Water bed flow. Yeah, you know, like I said, he is being called to task. He did put out there. Now, I will say this to be fair to Mr. Big Sean. He did have a nice uh, song, nice couple of songs. The album itself was actually a pretty solid album. I tell you, that's the most invigorated I heard that dude rap in a minute. However, though, Kendrick Lamar is still the fucking Energizer Bunny. And Big Sean was taking a subliminal indirect shot when he said, you niggas are rapping like you have an asthma attack, which I thought was funny because one could say at times Kendrick does sound like he's having an asthma attack on the microphone. But still, uh, lyrically really uh, uh deadly you know so big sean a little bit of hating there but it's f <laughs> you know you didn't come to, you didn't come when he called out you know big sean drake and everybody he didn't come to task and, and take on kendrick there kind of sat with him for a while and over time he's become irritated but i was focused most of my energy on drake since you know you you know since he alleged that drake at one time kind of bit up his style uh, that's the guy I would focus on. Boy. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, it's no lie. If you listen to the fucking flow on Big Sean album, it is clear that Drake is the T-1000 in this motherfucker. That nigga just morphs and morphs and morphs. And that's what he does. And he's been hustling ever since. Uh, it left Big Sean in the dust because he wasn't as aggressive as let's say somebody like a Kendrick Lamar if you step in Kendrick Lamar's lane he's going to be shooting all type of metaphors in your direction my 4-4 make sure all you niggas don't come at me <laughs> you said don't come at me it's don't grow <laughs> you funny but no look here's the thing though yeah uh, for the most part though what would you say about Big Sean do, do you say that Sincere, do you feel that he's kind of allowed this to happen? He he has, and I got to agree with Needle here. I, I'm not really interested in Big Sean. You know, in fact, to all the Wale stands, here's something to make y'all happy. I think Wale is better than Big Sean. Lauren. <laughs> Boy. Can you imagine that motherfucking battle? Lauren. Boy. Lauren. <laughs> Boy. Lauren. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with you. Look, yeah, that's not yeah. like they were having sex, though, Prince. What are you doing there? Lauren, <laughs> boy. <laughs> it may just be. Never know. Uh, the Illuminati has been confirmed. Oh, yeah, those photos with Wale. That was Big Sean next to him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that was, but somebody's nostrils got caught on camera. I said, damn, they all up this nigga's nostrils, whoever the fuck he is. <laughs> But uh, no, I agree with you since it completely look we joke about Wale because of his behavior But lyrically he is more energetic than Big Sean and he has a uh, Much more complex delivery uh, when it comes to his bars Big Sean mm, You know him and a Ms. Aiko whatever the hell her name is the the, the black anime chick <laughs> Black anime <laughs> They better do some Asper and Simpson shit uh, because Big Sean has allowed himself to be washed. I don't know if he was trying to be polite, humble, but he should have. There's several people that really should have sat Drake down, but they just didn't decide to do it. Yeah, you know, I decided came too late. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it's, it's nothing much I can really say. Uh, more than likely that part about, you know, keep my name out your mouth this time when you say I was just playing. Uh, I'm still come after you. That that does sound like Big Sean. Uh, the Jay Z, as we stated before, that's Drake, and then some of the other stuff prior to that. It, it sounds like he was he was tapping into 
J Electronica. So, it, you know, we already made our video on it about Drake and about J Electronica, but Big Sean, you know, since he has he he has become more confident to to go forward, I it will be in interesting. If do you think Big Sean will c go full full steam ahead, or do you gonna he's gonna back up and say I was just playing again, or do you think he's gonna go full steam ahead and be like, all right, let's do this? Well, this is the brilliance of of somebody like a Kendrick Lamar. He already did a preemptive strike just in case you do try that shit and say, oh, I was just playing. He said, you'll probably say, I'm just playing. Similar to the way Drake said, I don't want to hear this again. Not even if you mm -hmm. say that they're better as friends. It was a preemptive strike. So as far as intelligence, lyrical intelligence, Kendrick Lamar is really dope in that sense. So yeah, it's kind of forcing Big Sean. He's going to have to do something. He's either going to do a fucking tweet about it, Instagram, he may do a diss record. He may do some subliminal shit. Uh, since that's really popular now, everybody's on their subliminal shit. But, uh, yeah, he's, he would have to do something because his name is already churning. And everybody knows when he said, <laughs> you rap it like you have an asthma attack. Everybody knew who he was talking about. Oh, yeah, he was definitely talking about Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about Kendrick with that. Yeah, so because, you know, when Kendrick does get turned up on uh, when his verses, he does kind of come across like, you know, Da, 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 da. But for the most part, in the long run, well, uh, Eminem said that Big Sean is uh -huh. the most dangerous MC. So, that, how does that, that work though? <laughs> because look, I know people are Detroit natives and shit. So when yeah, I heard they do that, stand with each other. Yes, I, I just said, how does that work though? Like it works like this. Stand by me. <laughs> <laughs> like I wonder, if, I wonder if he's gonna say that now. I mean, if you say that. Big Sean is the no. most dangerous MC. Like, Look, where, where does I'm, that leave cats like Kendrick? Seriously, Kendrick has one underground classic, a uh, two mainstream classics. Right. It looked like he may have a third one on the way. Drake had uh, almost a classic, <laughs> uh, a one underground classic, and uh, but I have to say overall, Big Sean is the best out of the whole bunch that is being mentioned. He is by far the best. I think he's underrated. Boy. I think his albums and his singles collaborations with people like Justin Bieber, uh, Andriana Grande, things like that has actually showcased how important Big Sean music is mm -hmm. to the rap game. Mm -hmm. I mean, just think about it. You mm -hmm. know, those features to, to, to make those pop songs, you know, hardcore the way that Big Sean did. I don't think anybody else could do it better than Big Sean. Ooh. Ooh, I, 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 I'm gonna I'm I'm be Stephen A. On, Smith. I'm gonna get my Stephen A. What's Smith. What's better than ass, 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 ass? I, 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 can't, I can't agree. Now, uh, this is what I'm gonna say. Big Sean, look, his flow is about as fire as cough syrup. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, look, y'all can say what y'all wanna say. The last album, he sounded like he had more life in him. I like the color scheme. I love the videos. He had some of his best videos from this last album. But outside of that, uh, yeah, he's going to get washed in a storm. He already just got washed in a storm. Uh, Kendrick Lamar gave him a lot of bars. And Kendrick Lamar says, I'm going to give Drake some more bars just because off GP. Well, you know, Kendrick Lamar raps in another dimension. His head is somewhere else, you mm -hmm. know. He's into quantum physics. His head and his man bun. <laughs> I'm aware of this because it simplifies and it signifies that I'm more artistic than most of you niggas. Most of you niggas. I got toast for all of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so, uh, look, hands down, I definitely feel like Kendrick Lamar is a very ill lyricist. Uh, hopefully, we will get that elusive, supposedly exclusive mixtape between J. Cole and Kendrick. It's supposed to be like an album or oh, something. Oh, yeah, that's going to be hot. Look, I, I, J. Cole is... is Mainstream wise, he's definitely second place to me. Mm -hmm. Kendrick is is first place, but I have to say this: J Cole, if you're listening, you need to step it up because <laughs> uh, Kendrick washed you on that. Uh, was it Black Friday? Oh or, yeah, it was Black Friday. He washed you, man. You gotta gotta step it up, J Cole. You felt so. You felt J Cole got washed on that. Yeah. Okay. At first, it was kind of to me lopsided anyway, because Kendrick was like rapping for like eight minutes, and then J Cole came mm. and and rapped on a uh, Kendrick Lamar track for about what two minutes. But still, okay. I, I I know that J Cole's gonna bring it, but he gotta bring it. Well, he yeah. gotta bring it. Okay. Okay. And, and I know people been giving uh, Big Sean charity, like on the <laughs> DJ Khaled. They was like, oh, Big Sean was better than Kendrick. No, he he was not. 
you know who uh, said that crackhead shit <laughs> What you gonna do with boy? Bye, Felicia. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, man. Like Big Sean, he every time I look at him, I get sleepy. Like it just. He what? He zero for five on features with with Kendrick. He been trying though. He <laughs> like I'm a, I'm gonna be on it. I'm gonna sneak, you know, diss him on each feature I feature with him, and we'll see. And then after he he talks to me. Oh, yo, man. Uh, you talk about me, Big Sean? Oh no, man. I was just playing. <laughs> All right, nigga. I'ma see. I'm about to air your little ass out publicly. <laughs> if Eminem says you are the greatest or the most dangerous, then I'm the one that's the most deranged in this, you know. <laughs> but I will say this, yeah. If they do that uh, collaborative effort, that will be excellent for hip hop. Also, I want to ask you one more question. One more thing. One more thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Since we know how Drake is. And we know how very suspicious he is of just people in general, all right, because of, you know, historically with his career, what had taken place, so many people hey, he's clashed with that he thought were cool with him. If, let's say, Kendrick Lamar, right now he did just splash Drake, undeniable, if you motherfuckers talk around that shit and call him one other motherfucker, I'm blocking. But anyway, I will say this, he called out Big Sean and he called out Drake, right? But if Kendrick proceeds with that supposedly a duet album with J. Cole, do you think that affects Drake and J. Cole's relationship? Yeah, I mean, look, I, because Drake is sensitive like that, and I, I, at the end of the day, again, you know, J. Cole and Kendrick are on the a similar frequency. They're very extremely political when it comes to the black community, things that are going on, initiatives, J. Cole hoping single mothers, uh, Kendrick Lamar making sure he's helping inner city youth, music. They all have so many programs. They're looking mm. for a hot new talent as well. Oh, yeah. And, and their zip codes and outside of their zip codes. That's, uh, you know, I mean, on one could say, you know, Drake is looking for hot new talent as well, but he has the, the kicker to that, though. J. Cole, Kendrick and J. Cole are so talented. They don't need to eat up anything an artist they sign into the fold. They don't need to take no style from them. They don't need to take no hi hats from them. Nothing. That person's purely running on their own gen and excuse me energy. With Drake, whatever a person from Toronto, from you know from his area code he brings in, he may you know uh, swipe some of the shit that they're doing. So you know there's a there's a lot of differences between J Cole and Kendrick. I mean uh, J Cole and and Drake, mm -hmm. and there's too many similarities with Kendrick and Cole. Um, so we'll see. Okay, yeah, and I agree. And I'm just gonna finalize this here. Uh, Drake does do that. He basically put a lot of people's career uh, in the wheelchair and some Tupperware, and also had a nice helping size of Canada dry soda with it as well. Uh, and also, I think personally, so far, uh, J Cole's team that he's built with Earth Gang and Jid, I think they like. I think he has one of the dopest little rosters that he's building over there, and some of the other people he's added. And of course, we already know what's up with TDE with J Rock, Absol, uh, Schoolboy Q, and Kendrick Lamar. They need to push Lamar. SZA a little bit more. A lot fucking more. That's all we got to say. That's our critique. You better push her more. Push her out there some more. Yeah, a lot fucking more. But yeah, at the end of the day, we'll see what takes place. And look, you all, you may actually get to see. A real battle. I mean, I, I don't know. Big Sean may step his game up, and we'll see what Drake does. If, if he talks about sending shrooms to Kendrick's head, yeah. more shrooms for his head, man. Yeah, it's time for me to play uh, Mankind Divided. That's that. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> anyway, of course, this is your boy, Prince Solomon. And, and uh, oh, this is your girl, Sincere. Peace. All right, now you having to see a citizen <laughs> moment. <laughs> All right, peace. We are out. One. Thought Crimes. Welcome to Thought Crimes, everyone. And this is your girl, Sincere Ignorance, and I'm with... Of course, this is the homie, Prince Solomon, in the building. And welcome to our GoFundMe. Thought Crimes showcases global issues from a black perspective, focusing on the global government, 
the Federal Reserve, police brutality, our constitutional rights, human rights, and much more. This channel is an alternative to all the other noise out there because we take black Americans' concerns seriously, in addition to being all-inclusive to the diversity of black people as a collective, when you need real commentary on serious issues that the news will never cover. Thought Crimes has your back, no hold bars. Of course, rooted through comedy, entertainment, and not giving a fuck about those with sensitive ears. Welcome to Thought Crime. I saw the check, nigga. Huh. What? Stop. Stop. Stop.